I understand people are mad about Texas basically making abortion illegal, and they deserve to be mad. They deserve to be furious because it is fucked up. But let me tell you why I don't like some of the most popular arguments people are making in response to the anti-abortion legislation. Right now, the big talking points are pulling Alyssa Strata, mandatory vasectomies, and banning Viagra. And I get all of them, but I'm gonna tell you why I don't think they work and why they undermine what we really want, which is for the law to be overturned because it is unconstitutional and massive government overreach. The Alyssa Strata argument is based on an ancient Greek play where the protagonist goes on a mission to end a war by having women deny men any sex until they stop fighting. Now, the play is an anti-war comedy, and although withholding sex could potentially work on some small level to get a man to do what you want, realistically, it only causes more rapes. And, quite frankly, it plays into the idea that women's only power is sex, or the withholding of sex. And, quite frankly, it denies women their own pleasure, which only plays into the desires of these hyper-Christian fundamentalists with their abstinence arguments who want to ban abortion in the first place. I would rather see women use their power to run for office, vote, or to convince the men in their lives to give a shit, rather than reducing ourselves to some sex toy we won't let you play with. The banning of Viagra is clever because I get the argument. If God wanted me to be pregnant, he wanted you to have a flaccid member. But because I'm someone who takes Viagra three times a day for my lungs, I know that medication, though associated with ED, is used for a lot of other things. And like abortion, I believe that medical care should never be withheld from someone for someone else's personal beliefs. Finally, I believe in bodily autonomy. For everybody. So this mandatory vasectomy argument just doesn't quite work. I have a son. If you told me that a law was going to mandate him get snipped, I would lose my frickin' mind. No one should be able to tell him what to do with his body, just as no one should be able to tell me what to do with mine. It's just not an argument I can get behind. The bottom line is there is no countermeasure that would make this arcane law okay or balanced. It's strategically written to make women second-tiered citizens, and bringing men down won't undo that. Laws like SB8 that undermine basic human rights and autonomy have no place in our society. No matter who they apply to. We need to sanctify bodily autonomy at the federal level. Everyone's bodily autonomy. We need a law written so clearly and succinctly that not even our right-wing corrupt bought and paid for Supreme Court can misinterpret or undermine it. We need to codify our rights, not take anyone else's. It shouldn't be about punishment. It needs to be about prevention. We need to make sure something like this is overturned and can never be passed again.